now we are at the Central Railway Station. It's three o'clock and it's quite busy, busy streets at the moment. And we are going to Helsinki City Airport and trying to drive as fuel efficient route and using the techniques as possible. In this video I will use the start and stop system to save fuel. Now I zeroed my fuel consumption meter and start my journey as soon as the light change. And the next light is red at the moment, so we can start gliding in neutral as soon as we have enough speed to get to the next lights. Look the pedestrian lights and try to guess will it change green to us. Now it turns red the pedestrian lights, I will start the car in advance and start driving as soon as the light changes. Again, next light is red and I try to anticipate how to go there. It changes green and we can move on. At the moment I'm using the taxi line because I'm making this video for taxi drivers and how they should drive to the airport because that's who usually drive this route. Again the car stops if the car is on standstill for three seconds. Green starts, I try to get the car going as soon as the, we can start to move on. At the moment fuel consumption is 7.4 liters and dropping all the time. Now there is a red, right, red light again on the upcoming but the green light came on, but there is still cars which are stopped, so I have to slow down to before the line starts to move. Try to glide in neutral as much as possible. 5.6 liters. I'm guessing that I will not make through all these green lights which are three on row at the moment. So I don't get much speed here. From next we will turn right and there is a red light again. You I can see it from 300 meters away but I don't know if will it turn green before I reach there. When I'm at good distance that I know that I will not reach there, I will start slowing down. Here you can see that even the lines are same, three buses start to move more faster than same length of passenger vehicles because every car there is a gap between them and if there's three buses there's only three gaps but I know that they will stop so I didn't follow them at here again driving in neutral 4.5 liters at the moment green light ahead so I can keep my speed now I didn't make it, so I had to make a very hard braking, and the car will stop, because this is quite long, long traffic lights here. Here I wasted some fuel, because 
I had too much speed and I wasn't so nasty that I would go on the yellow light. Again, fast acceleration to speed, but the next traffic lights are again on red and I need to change my lane again. Yes, only two cars and there's four on the right lane. So I'm getting a little bit faster through these lights. Try to slow down before the, you have to start, stop to stand still mode and start accelerating as fast as you can. Again, next traffic lights are coming. They are red on the top of the hill and on hill starts it's very bad if you stop stop to stand still. I'm trying to guess how this will change. Now it was a green light for the trains but they weren't any. Again we didn't have to stop to full stand still and start accelerating as fast as possible. Next traffic lights turn green so now we will just have to anticipate when the line starts to move. Use the highest gear possible whenever you can. Again lots of cars and they will stop to the uphill slow down early and try to get the hill up before you have to stop no luck this time it was about 3 seconds which I just made too fast and now we are here and we are just moving few car lengths at the time so there is no sense to go every time line moves because they are not moving they are just moving one, one meter at a time to forward and when the line starts to move really you can start going forward when you knew that you, you will get past the lights This was pretty good, good here, and again red light comes there, so we need to use engine brake as much as possible in the downhill. These lights will be quite short, so I don't turn off the engine here. But it's rush hour, so I'm not sure will I get through with these lights or not. It's illegal to block the section there, so I cannot go there before I know that I'm, I will go past this intersection. Otherwise I will block the other, other pass drivers, and that's not good for the total picture. It might save few few deciliters for me, but most cars will burn more fuel if I don't do anything that is not wise. Again, try to look the passenger walker's lights. If they are green, we, we will have also green light. Five liters at the moment, the fuel consumption average from the start. Again, I know that this next next intersection will be lots of cars and it's fully blocked usually. So I'm no in no hurry to go there to be on the standstill. Let's see. Again, I, 
I didn't make it. It was already two cars before me and I didn't have any luck this time. And the car will stop again. This is very long traffic light so it's very wise to stop the car here and wait. At the moment 4.8 liters per 100 kilometers in city driving on the VV Lupo 3L and we have probably made few few mistakes on the course at the moment but it's not possible to drive the whole city through through the whole city without making any mistakes when the light will turn green first the oncoming cars can go through and after that we can only turn so there's no use to go there waiting like these guys does before the line starts to be so few cars oncoming that we can move, move through without stopping there again again avoided one stop here while driving driving full efficient drive techniques one walker goes through red light here and we didn't know how to anticipate that because he was walking towards the red light here we can try again to lure which little speed without stopping didn't stop fully and save a little bit of fuel try to make fast acceleration to post the speed limit and start gliding in neutral It's green again on the oncoming traffic light so we can try to get through without stopping. The taxi lane is on the right and as you can see there's no not much cars there but it's illegal for me to drive there because I'm not driving a taxi car at the moment. Try to move without stopping and now we are on the we had to stop but we are on the downhill so we can start with going forward with neutron get a little spots and start gliding again in neutral I know that these traffic lights are so fast that I will, we will not get through in the first try. So again we are not in a hurry. To the line here. Four point seven liters at the moment. Now it's already green light to the pedestrians, so soon we will get also green lights to the cars. And here we go. Again start gliding in neutral. Look the pedestrian lights on the on the right and if it turns red you won't probably get through these lights. The next lights are again very long and there's lots of cars there so we are not in a hurry there. Six liters. One 
watch the brake lights from other cars and try to try to guess if you see brake lights there's no need to accelerate any faster this line here is in stop but it will soon start to move a little bit again red light is already ahead so there is no need to go faster one car there went past me because he didn't like how I drive Even if you go to the end of the line, you cannot go nowhere before the light turns green, so there is no need to drive any faster than you have to. Now I will turn off the engine and wait till the green, green lights comes. I should get through with these green lights, because I am already so close to the traffic lights. But the traffic might, might be so jammed after the lights that we won't get through. distance to the cars in front of you so now we will not get through here probably because already the first lights started to become red and at least there the cars will have to stop so again even if I would have gone through with red lights we would be not not any faster because as you can see the red lights then there also now we are first on the line and we can make a rapid acceleration because we should try to catch the green light here but again, when you see that there is cars in front of you and you will not, not get a green light straight away, you can start to slow down. Flat out, now we are out of the city and the fuel consumption start to drop. 80 km per hour speed limit and we can drive more freely here Now 
it's a little bit up here, so we can use the gentle throttle. And now we will change the lane, so if some people want to drive faster, we are not blocking them. consumption at the moment. Here we can make a little push and gain more speed for the downhill. At this time it's wise to go to the left lane because there's lots of cars coming from the right so otherwise we would probably have to brake to avoid them because they will just come coming away as you see that red avenge is had to break because cars just coming right in front of me and you you have to keep a good safe distance otherwise you will have to break because you will not have any space to left in front of you people are driving one car length away from the car in front and if the line breaks they will have very very they will have to have very quick reflex if they can avoid the accident. Again when the brake light starts to starts to burn you can start slowing down. Speed limit is 100 at the moment, but there are so many cars that speed is actually 60 kilometers.